What is up guys and welcome back to Frosted Gaming. I have another special surprise for you guys as you saw by the title above. This is an $800, sub $800 PC gaming build. Now this build is gonna be able to run at 4K. Believe it or not, it's gonna be able to run at 4K stable on most of the new games that are out there right now. So if you guys want to game at 4K, if you have a 4K monitor, or if you have, I'm just really excited about this gaming build. It's really, it took me a long time to find the proper parts and to get a decent enough graphics card, a decent, decent enough processor, and all just fit it into one good build. And granted, this is minus the keyboard, minus the mouse, minus the monitor, obviously, but I did throw in some extra specials for you guys. I think you guys are really gonna like it. So let's get into the build. First of all, for the CPU, we have the AMD FX 8320 Black Edition. This is gonna be an overclockable CPU, eight cores, 3.5 gigahertz uh, regular, and it overclocks or boosts uh, on its own to 4.0 gigahertz. Now you have eight megabytes of cache. It runs at a stable uh, wattage of 125 watts and it's an AM3 plus socket. Now I run an AMD 8350 overclock to 4.8 gigahertz in my system build right now. Um, pretty soon I'm gonna be upgrading, but if you get, this is a really solid uh, CPU for your guys' build or your guys' gaming PC. So moving on to the motherboard, we have a Gigabyte GA970A D3P. This is an AM3 Plus socketed motherboard. Your max RAM capacity on here is only 32 gigabytes, which is plenty because we're only putting 16 in this one. And you have two PCIe express lanes. So 16 and whatever they call it, 16 slot lanes. Um, now you're gonna be able to run at least two graphics cards. So in the future, if you wanna add another graphics card that we have in this build and you wanna run a SLI, you can definitely do that or Crossfire, or whatever you wanna do. Um, so moving on to the RAM, we have a data XPG overclock series. This, this is overclockable. So we have 16 gigabytes. This is two eight gigabyte sticks running at 1866 megahertz for the speed. And these are overclockable, like I said before. And these also have a lifetime warranty. So if these sticks ever go out on you, there is, you can do memtest86, I think is what it's called. On, uh, on your PC and figure out if one of the sticks are going out. And these have a lifetime warranty, so all you have to do is contact ADATA and let them know that, hey, my, my memory stick went out, I need a new one, and they'll send you a new one. So moving on to the power supply. It's a Thermaltake Tough Power 750 watt, 80 plus gold certified, which means it runs at an efficiency of 70, or no, 89 to 92% efficiency between 20 and 100% power load. Now you have a, it's fully modular, 750 watts maximum. This is a very, very solid uh, power supply unit, guys. So definitely pick this up. Uh, by the way, all the links for these parts are gonna be in the description below to Amazon, where they are the cheapest at their prices right now. Now moving on to the hard drive, we got a Western Digital. This is one of the little treats for you guys. This is a Western Digital Caviar Green two terabyte storage, 64 megabytes cache, 7,200 RPMs, up to 240 hours of HD video. That is crazy. I, I only have a, well, I have a two terabyte Western Digital Black, which would probably be a little bit better. If you wanna switch it out for a black, go ahead. I'll probably leave a link for that down below as well. But it's gonna be a lot more money, obviously. But I found a really good deal on this Western Digital Green. So definitely pick that up if you guys, it, maybe you just need a little extra storage. You don't want to build a $800 PC. Just kind of pick out a little bit of parts here and there if you want to. So moving on to the cooler. I did, I did manage to get a CPU cooler in here and uh, without the stock cooler for the CPU. This is a Corsair H55 Quiet Edition. All-in-one liquid cooler, AMD or Intel bracketing. Well, obviously you're going to be using AMD. This is a low noise and tool free. It's only running 59 bucks right now. Can you believe that? 59 bucks for an all-in-one liquid cooler. Basically, now two of the surprises, actually three, no, two of the surprises that are in this build um, has to do something with this H55 cooler. So we'll get to that in a second. Now for the case, we have a Thermaltake Versa H25. It's a mid-tower case. You have a side window. One fan, 120 millimeter fan is included. You also have three, you have five total bays. Two of these can be used as 2.5 bays or 3.25, 2.5 uh, 
2.5 bays or 3.5 bays and then the other two are just strictly 3.5s. Those are obviously going to be the ones that are on the front of the case or directly just inside the front panel. Uh, the first surprise, as you can see on the screen, is a 16 and a half foot RGB light kit. I get so many questions on my setup videos. Where do you get your light kits and what do you do and how do you buy them and where are they at and what are they? And so here's going to be, there, there's going to be a link in the description for these as well, guys. Um, I'm running a 16 and a half on my desk and I'm running also a 16 and a half if you guys have seen my setup video. If you haven't, I'll link it right here. Uh, I'm running a 16 and a half uh, foot cable underneath my bed as well. So next up we have the thermal paste for the liquid cooler. So this is the extra surprise for that liquid cooler. Once you take, once you put your CPU in, it, uh, the liquid cooler I believe is going to have its own thermal paste already on it and it may not. I noticed by the pictures, if you guys have already noticed by the pictures that I put up, it did not have its own thermal paste on it by the looks of it so I included uh, silver thermal paste. So this is going to get you maybe a degree or two of difference rather than normal thermal paste. So I included this as well. Next up we have the anti-static wristband. So if you're building your PC you want to put that on your wrist and you want to uh, ground it out to your case and make sure that you're not going to get any static in your case because that can short out like your motherboard and your CPU and whatnot or even your power supply. You guys definitely don't want to do that because then you'll have to RMA your parts back to Amazon, they'll have to send you a new one, and then you're just out like almost a week just by sending the stuff back and getting the stuff new. You, you just don't do that. Just go ahead with the wristband. What is it, like five, six bucks or something like that? Five ninety nine. dollars uh, Just go with the wristband and just save yourself the trouble if it would ever happen. So for the graphics card, as you can see on the screen, it is an MSI R9 380. This is a two gigabyte card, which is more than enough to play most of the games that are out there right now. 980 megahertz core clock, 256 bit memory interface, capable of 4K gaming, two DVI, one HDMI, and one display port. So you can run triple monitors, iFinity, such as I do on my gaming setup, and you can, oh man, maybe not triple monitor 4K. You're only gonna get like maybe on the medium settings on like Grand Theft Auto 5. You're only going to get like 25 frames per second on 4K triple monitors. That This card is just not that. It, you can run one monitor, but it's not powerful enough to run three monitors in iFinity. So you'll be okay with one monitor. You'll be doing fine on your frames per second. Most other games, if it's just like a 1080p monitor, um, Grand Theft Auto 5 ultra settings, high settings, you're going to be able to push about 60 to 75 frames per second in these games which is really really cool so i i figured i'd try to fit in this mother card uh, or this graphics card for you guys sorry about that um it's only 199 right now so definitely if you're looking at upgrading your graphics card definitely visit the link down below go pick that up and hopefully you guys get that in time for all the new games that are coming out so anyways guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like down below also leave a comment if what parts you're gonna buy or if you're not going to buy any, if you want to substitute, you know, just one of the parts into your existing build or whatnot. Or if you, this is probably the best $800 build out there right now to date. So if you guys want it, it's in the links below. Also leave a like on the video. Comment down below what you guys are going to buy or not buy and what I could have done different. So anyways, guys, I enjoy your feedback and I, I, I love every single one of you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Stay frosty.